and we're using photo 40 41 and 42. So we're going to start with the number two rose mix and put a glaze over the whole top of it. That's this lighter rose mix. too much on my brush where, right there where I started so I'm going to need to pull it back off a little bit and I'll do that by wiping my brush and then by brushing back over it and taking some up Okay, so now I'm going to go to the uh, number one rose mix, the darker. And I'm going to start working my shades. And at the same time, I know that I'm going to need my mop. We're just doing transparent glazes. Need a little bigger mop. I'm going to go over and watch Jazz one at like 6 o'clock. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, right, let's pat on some more extender. So it's gotten dry. And I'm going to go into the red violet mix a little kind of brush mixing with the dark rose mix and put these darkest darks in right here and also right here Make sure you have smooth transitions all around.
I'm going to put a little naphthol red on my brush with uh, the red violet. And just put a touch of this inside. Okay. Um, now I'm going to let this dry down before we finish with the center on that. And let's go with our highlights now. We're going to use the uh, Ligus uh, Rose Mix. And the Ligus Gray. Got a glare. Try to move around just a little bit and get out of the glare. I switch to the smaller mop now. And we're going to build them up. Okay, I've got a dirty brush, but I'm going to go straight into the light rose. And this should give me a lighter value. Barely tap that on and soften it. Try to make irregular places because this is a flower and it is irregular. I need to put to reload. I'm loading right now just with the um, light rose mix lightest rose mix. 